Hello, in this part 2 video of uh, Snort IDS, I'll be demonstrating how you can uh, configure this uh, small Snort on uh, Kali and uh, bring out the alerts. So the first important step is that please uh, open this uh, Snort conf and then uh, edit some of the parameters which are listing. So you can open using leapad or even through your VA editor also. It is Snort and Snort conf. So this is first step which we are doing. So please go through this one. This is the main configuration file. So just scroll down. So the important parameters which you need to understand is uh, you can see this uh, IPware home underscore net is any. You can provide if you want to specify your home net as 192.168.1.0 slash 24. That is my network IP address. You can see this broadcast network IP is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. I can do that. So here I'm not changing. If you want, you can change that. External net also, I mean hash, uh, uncomment, and then uh, you can uh, define whatever is the values. So uh, here I'm not changing anything. Just scroll down. So here there is one more update. So please understand rule path is etc is not rule. So all my rules are in etc is not rules directory. If you want to change the defaults, so change here the rule path which is there. Now, now I need to define my own custom rules. For that, scroll down almost near to the bottom. Uh, here uh, the rule path is already defined etc is not rules. So that is my rule path. So here you can see all the rule paths. Some of them are commented and some of them are been used so what i'm going to do uh, i i include my rules here somewhere at the bottom so that i can easily figure out include dollar rule path slash i'll say custom dot rule some file name which i can easily remember please uh, keep that the dot extension should be in dot rules so once this is done you can save and quit save and quit save and quit so this is done the first main task is done now the second is very very important to create the rules so there is a separate sequence of writing the rules so here i say go to snort and go to rules directory so here already you have some set of rules which are there some of them are functional and some of them are uh, commented out commented out so here I will open a lipad uh, custom dot rules. If you are familiar with VI, you can open with VI. For the first timers, I suggest you go to using this lipad. So open this. Now we need to write an alert. So so I can also explain about how the path is. So here uh, how you can define is the rule action. I can say the first one should be your rule action i have written in comment so you can understand rule action can be either alert or maybe drop for in case of ips okay so this is how i write the rule syntax and next is protocol protocol the source ip and the source port source port okay so here i say tcp sorry tcp any any now i give this okay this should be uh, hyphen greater than and now my destination destination ip and destination port port so suppose if i want to write here something i want to see who is doing ftp to my server i can say any ip address and port number is 21 i can say now the most important one i'm just extending so here what is the action which you want to take rule rule action so here i'm going to that is in bracket so first thing is that msg message colon colon and ftp i can say ftp connection attempt so this whatever is the message should be in quote should be in quote and do a semicolon semicolon 
and I can provide my SID caller. SID means system identifier. So I can this can be the alert number or two four five one or something. You can give your own numbers. Give a longer one. So semicolon and then revision colon one. This is your versioning something like that. One and close this particular rule. That's all. If you want to create a rule of a different type. You can like uh, someone is doing SSH, you can do like that any any multiple rules depending on your organizational requirement. So any port number 22, MSG, okay, uh, I can say um, SSH connection attempted, okay, and SSID column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Two uh, revision column one. If there is a second revision, yes, you can write as two. And also, I want to uh, write a third rule. Uh, someone is accessing some website. Okay, TCP. I can do TCP. Any any. I can say the port is any. Okay, uh, I can say any. Port is any from any port. Normally it should be 80, but I'm here giving us any message is uh, I can say under ports. Someone is browsing google.com. Okay. I can say SID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 ensure that it is unique revision column one okay so we save this one save and quit okay so if you say cat custom dot rules should show you something like this anyway the first line is not necessary you can uh, this is only for understanding that I, I have commented anyway so this is how my rule pattern is now to test whether my rules are functional or not so there is a command which i can show you uh, like snort with an hyphen t hyphen c your configuration file is uh, itc snort snort conf so this will read the entire configuration and its associated files including the rules and verify if there is any syntax errors the errors will be thrown on the screen it is trying to check all the options and then it will tell you if there are any warnings or anything. So it has mentioned that successfully validated the configuration. There are, I think there are no errors which are there. If there are any errors, it will show you here. Okay. So successfully validated. Now I'll keep this not in monitoring mode on the console. It's not part three is over. Validation is over. Now I'm keeping this in monitoring hyphen a console hyphen a console hyphen q hyphen c hyphen c for configuration file snort and snort dot conf snort dot conf okay so now this is running in console mode okay meanwhile if i do this firefox google.com across the network it will show you google.com okay so parallelly you can see the alerts are coming across here the alerts are coming up not only this i'll minimize this one i'll open from a different system okay i'll open from a different system my console is open i'll do cmd ftp 192.168.1.28 you can see this one when I try to do FTP. When I try to do FTP, you should see this FTP alerts coming across. Okay, whatever it is, whether it is connection if you do refused or not, you can see this uh, alerts coming across FTP connection attempt from so and so IP address. From so and so IP address. So in this way, we can monitor our alerts. Okay. So uh, one more thing which we need to, you can press Control C and uh, go to var log okay snort 
to record all these alerts. You can see here various type of alerts are recorded. So this is the latest one which is there all the logs are there. By default these alerts are of file type is uh, pcap files, pcap files 17 okay pcap files these are. So how you can view these files is we can open these files using wireshark. Wireshark and file names not dot log dot one seven seven okay right these are the alerts which has come across so you can monitor each and everything whether TCP alerts or SSH alerts or protocol alerts you can see all the thing again uh, that's all from me on this is not. Thank you.